What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So for those who didn't know, there is a PC port now of Zelda 3, A Link to the Past. And it's got a whole bunch of interesting instructions that we are going to follow today. Uh, just to see if we can get us to work, which should be fun. So we're going to do get clone. Uh, we're going to do be cursive just in case, because there's no really clear instructions. Unfortunately, it's one of those times where it's not really a properly written thing. Watch this. So you have bug. Yeah, I hate that bug. Just hit enter again and it'll do its clone. And we're going to Zelda 3. And yeah. Um, we need to do CD tables. Is it a capital T? No. Tables. Can we like... Are we in the file? Do we have to make a table file? No, it should be there. So CD tables. We're in here. We're good. Uh, you need to make sure you have Python installed. That is the one requirement to extracting resources. So the next thing I need to do. Every time I try to record Windows is just like, we don't like you. I don't even know why you bother to try to think that we like you. Open the fuck. Thank you. See what I mean? It's a curse. It's a frigging curse. Close all of this crap. Okay. Uh, we're here to grab just this, and then we're gonna go to home. No, this is not home. Okay. For many people who use Linux and not this ancient ass operating system, home is considered that folder where your name is tables and I believe we put the ROM there let's see totally half-assing this by the way um yep so here and we're just gonna name this Zelda 3 so no caps Zelda 3 and you gotta make sure it's the US ROM of course and next thing, we want to extract the resources. God, this is so poorly written. Eh? Python was not found. No shit, because they literally have Python 3. It's just fucking Python. Alright, so pip install. What do we need here? Hello, pp. No, YY, AML. Okay, so we got to do those two things first. Look, if your project consists of you saying Python 3, you already effed up and you should rewrite the guide because no OS handles that that way anymore. Not even Ubuntu, okay? Python 3 is by default uh, now for Ubuntu, so it's just Python. Like, bad, bad guide so far. And we're doing this. Uh-huh. And then after this, we should just be able to go into the .snl, or whatever it's called, sn something. Uh, we basically need to head back into our home folder. So here, uh, here, this, this is a home folder. I don't know what the hell that is considering what it's doing, but no. This is the home folder. And next, we just need to find this. Now, if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, we should just be able to compile it. And nothing else needs to be done. So we're going to go with release. Does it say that we need to change to 64-bit or anything like that? 32-bit, it does not. So build. Build is started. I know this is a weird one. Usually I do this ahead of time where I just learn things. But you know what? I figured a long time ago. If you show people how to do it while you're learning to do it. And you make the same mistakes they make. But you figure out how to get past those mistakes. They end up learning better. Us apparently uh, it's done. So where does this go? Here. Here. Uh, SDL2. And here. Oh, shit. It worked. <laughs> cool. 
as loud. God, that is so damn loud. Okay. Um, there's cheats automatically enabled. That's a little bit weird. So alt enter for full screen. And <laughs> God damn it. Give me my controller. So that was way easier than I thought it would be, honestly. I'll probably do one of these on Linux because it's probably going to be much harder and more convoluted on Linux. Okay. Uh, does my controller not want to work? Try it again. Does this not have SDL2? does support SDL2. I don't understand. I mean, I'm pressing the buttons. Okay, let's try it this way. It just does not want to function with uh, the gamepad. Any support for gamepads? HD mode 7. Nice. Widescreen hack. Auto save on exit. Resize window. Well, there's a lot of things that are going to be going into this pretty soon. Just no joypad support, huh? I don't know. I might be wrong about that. Let me try something real quick. DS4. Windows. We're going to try DS4 Windows real quick. And download. And download again. I'm doing it on the other window. We can get rid of through this. The fact that it's working natively on PC without an emulator. That's pretty cool. NanaZip is still the best. Anybody that tells you otherwise hates you. No, really? Okay. Can you allow this pop-up? Thanks, bro. I like the music, though. You know? For Karina of Time, before Karina of Time. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna just pin this. Not bad, though. That's going to give me a seizure. Okay, so open this. Uh, app data. Yes. Install. No. Cancel. I want this one. Done. Exit. Start. Okay, let's see. Does it work? What? You're using SDL2 and you still don't have proper... What? Man, I'm already disappointed. Okay, we're going to alt enter. I don't know. I might do a playthrough of this because I never bothered with this. I wasn't into 2D games back in the day when they were brand new because, you know, I am who I am. Oh, yeah. W's like... Uh, that's illegal. <laughs> what else do they have? Oh, sorry. Uh, apparently... No! I exited. You son of a... Okay, to be fair... That's just that was just awful anyway. All right, so E is hard reset. Okay. Uh P is for pause. Nice. We can go turbo.
Okay. Clear all input history from current snapshot, load snapshot, alt enters for full screen, shift F1, F10, save snapshot. Why are these so convoluted? Whatever. We're going to get outside and I think we're going to be done with this video, honestly. Oh yeah, when you're installing Python, click add to path, please. Do yourself a favor and save yourself some trouble, okay? Oh yeah, I'm going to light up your life. I'm gonna marry all the crap out of this. Anyway, let's go. Do. Eh. Come here, Bush. You need to be whacked. So. I'm guessing. It's been ages. Like, this is one strong kid. He's ripping bushes out of the ground. I am so annoying. I'm sorry, everyone. Ah. Uh... Man, Link has a lot of dead dads. I just realized that. And he has a lot of dead moms. Like, every generation, one person is born into the role, and boom, dead dad, dead mom. Grows up on his own, has to become a hero, and it's kind of annoying. Where are you? Hopefully, this does not become another project like Ship, because that would be horrible. But no, there we go. I want it to stay true to itself, you know? No hacky crap. Full actual one to one type stuff. There we go. Give me this. This is mine. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well. I have a W. What do you got, punk? Uh, I'm so probably going to die. Wait, no. Go up. I have no idea what I'm doing. Not that way. What if I just go all the way upstairs? Anyway, um, there you go. I compiled it in real time in front of you with probably making a ton of mistakes and realizing that people still dare to use the term Python 3 when it's defaults in every distro NOS, and you don't need to do that anymore. Also, um, to the developers of this you're watching, please make SDL2 work properly on Windows. I don't want to have to be using DS4. And the last thing, your Python scripts to extract resources and to compile, you can add the ability to totally pip install stuff in those, saving one more step. I don't know, efficiency. Anyway, uh, you'll find the link for this for this project in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share this video. PC ports of things are fun.